Life is an extraordinary gift filled with boundless potential and endless possibilities. Yet how many of us truly seize the opportunities that lie before us? How many of us dare to dream beyond the confines of our current circumstances and reach for something greater? Today, we're going to talk about a fundamental truth that has the power to transform your entire existence. To make a change in life, you have to rewrite your agreement. Now, you might be wondering what agreement. The agreement I'm referring to is the silent contract you've made with yourself, with others, and with the universe about who you are, what you're capable of, and what you deserve in life. This agreement shapes your thoughts, guides your actions, and ultimately determines the quality of your experience. Think about it for a moment. Every day, you wake up with a set of beliefs about yourself and the world around you. These beliefs aren't just random thoughts floating through your mind. They're the very foundation upon which you've built your life. They're the rules you live by, often without even realizing it. Maybe you believe that success is only for the lucky few. Perhaps you think that happiness is always just out of reach. Or it could be that you've convinced yourself that you're not smart enough, talented enough, or worthy enough to achieve your dreams. These beliefs, these agreements you've made with yourself are the invisible barriers holding you back from the life you truly desire. But here's the liberating truth. You have the power to change these agreements. You have the ability to rewrite the story of your life. Starting right now in this very moment, the pen is in your hand and the blank page of possibility lies before you. Changing your life isn't about making grand, sweeping gestures or waiting for the perfect moment to arrive. It's about making a conscious decision to challenge the agreements that no longer serve you and replace them with new ones that empower and inspire. Let's say you've always believed that you're not good enough to pursue your passion. This agreement has kept you stuck in a job you hate, afraid to take risks or explore new opportunities. To change your life, you need to rewrite this agreement. You need to tell yourself, I am capable of learning, growing, and succeeding in any field I choose. My passion is a gift and I have the right to pursue it. This new agreement doesn't magically erase all obstacles or guarantee instant success. What it does is open up a world of possibilities that were previously closed off to you. It gives you permission to try to learn, to make mistakes, and to keep moving forward. Rewriting your agreements is a powerful act of self-love and self-respect. It's saying to yourself, I deserve better and I'm willing to do the work to create a life that aligns with my true desires and values. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Wayne, I've tried to change before and it didn't work. What makes this time different? The difference lies in understanding that lasting change doesn't come from simply wishing things were different or making half-hearted attempts at self-improvement. Real transformative change comes from a deep, internal shift in your beliefs and perceptions. When you rewrite your agreements, you're not just changing your thoughts. You're rewiring your entire way of being in the world. You're creating a new lens through which you view yourself and your experiences. This shift in perspective is what allows you to break free from old patterns and create lasting change in your life. Let me share a personal story to illustrate this point. Years ago, I had an agreement with myself that my worth was tied to my accomplishments. I believed that I had to constantly achieve, produce, and succeed to be valuable as a person. This agreement drove me to work tirelessly, always pushing for the next big thing, never feeling satisfied with what I had accomplished. It wasn't until I took a step back and examined this agreement that I realized how harmful it was. Not only was it causing me unnecessary stress and anxiety, but it was also preventing me from fully enjoying the present moment and appreciating the journey of life. So I made a conscious decision to rewrite this agreement. I told myself my worth is inherent. It doesn't depend on what I do or achieve. I'm valuable simply because I exist. This new agreement didn't make me less motivated or productive. On the contrary, it freed me to pursue my passions with joy and enthusiasm rather than death. This is the power of rewriting your agreements. It's not about changing who you are at your core. It's about aligning your beliefs and actions with your true self, your highest potential. Now you might be wondering, how do I start rewriting my agreements? Where do I begin? 
The process starts with awareness. You need to become conscious of the agreements that are currently governing your life. These agreements often operate in the background, influencing your thoughts and actions without you even realizing it. Take some time to reflect on your beliefs about yourself, others, and the world around you. What do you believe about your abilities, your worthiness, your potential? What do you believe about success, happiness, and fulfillment? These beliefs are your current agreements. Once you've identified these agreements, ask yourself, are they serving me? Are they helping me create the life I truly desire? If the answer is no, then it's time to rewrite them. Creating new agreements is an act of intention and commitment. It's about choosing beliefs that empower you, that align with your values and aspirations. For example, if you've always believed that you're not creative, you might rewrite that agreement to say, creativity is a skill that can be developed, and I commit to nurturing my creative abilities every day. Remember, these new agreements aren't just positive affirmations that you repeat mindlessly. They're commitments to yourself and promises that you intend to honor through your thoughts, words, and actions. As you begin to live by these new agreements, you'll likely face resistance. Your old patterns and habits will try to reassert themselves. This is natural and to be expected. Change isn't always comfortable, but it's through this discomfort that growth occurs. When you feel this resistance, remind yourself of why you're making these changes. Connect with your deepest motivations and desires. Visualize the life you're creating for yourself through these new agreements. Let this vision pull you forward when the going gets tough. It's also important to surround yourself with people who support your growth and your new agreements. The company you keep has a profound impact on your beliefs and behaviors. Seek out individuals who inspire you, who challenge you to be your best self, who believe in your potential even when you doubt yourself. As you rewrite your agreements and begin to live by them, you'll start to notice changes in your life. These changes might be subtle at first, a shift in your mood, a new perspective on a familiar situation, a burst of motivation to pursue a long-held dream. But over time, these small changes accumulate, creating a powerful momentum of positive transformation in your life. You might find yourself taking risks you would have previously shied away from. You might discover strengths and talents you never knew you had. You might start attracting opportunities and relationships that align with your new empowered beliefs about yourself. This is the magic of rewriting your agreements. It's not just about changing your thoughts. It's about changing your entire experience of life. It's about stepping into a new version of yourself, one that's aligned with your highest potential and deepest desire. Now, I want to address something important here. Rewriting your agreements doesn't mean denying reality or pretending that challenges don't exist. It's not about putting on rose-colored glasses and ignoring the difficulties of life. Instead, it's about choosing how you respond to those challenges and difficulties. For instance, let's say you face a setback in your career. Your old agreement might have been, setbacks mean I'm a failure. This belief would likely lead to feelings of despair and hopelessness, perhaps even causing you to give up on your goals. But what if you rewrote that agreement to say, setbacks are opportunities for growth and learning. This new agreement doesn't change the fact that you faced a setback, but it completely transforms how you interpret and respond to that experience. With this new agreement, you might approach the setback with curiosity instead of fear. You might ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to become stronger, wiser, more resilient? This shift in perspective opens up possibilities for growth and progress that simply weren't available under the old agreement. This is the essence of personal power, the ability to choose your response to life circumstances. When you rewrite your agreements, you're claiming this power for yourself. You're saying, I may not control everything that happens to me, but I do control how I interpret and respond to those events. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Wayne, isn't this just positive thinking? I've tried that before and it didn't work. Let me be clear. Rewriting your agreements goes far beyond positive thinking. It's not about slapping a happy face on difficult situations or pretending that everything is perfect when it's not. Rewriting your agreements 
uh, is about fundamentally shifting your beliefs about yourself and the world. It's about challenging the core assumptions that have been shaping your life, often without your conscious awareness. This is deep, transformative work that requires courage, commitment, and consistent effort. It's also important to understand that rewriting your agreements isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing process of growth and evolution. As you change and grow, as you encounter new experiences and challenges, you'll continue to refine and update your agreements. This ongoing process of self-reflection and growth is what keeps life exciting and meaningful. It's what allows you to continually expand your horizons, push past your limitations, and create a life that truly fulfills you. Let's talk for a moment about the role of forgiveness in rewriting your agreements. Many of the limiting agreements we hold on to are rooted in past experiences, perhaps moments when we felt hurt, betrayed, or let down by others or by life itself. These experiences can lead us to create protective agreements like, I can't trust anyone, or the world is a dangerous place. While these agreements might have served a purpose at one time, helping us feel safe in a challenging situation, they often outlive their usefulness. They become barriers that prevent us from fully engaging with life and experiencing the joy and connection we desire. Forgiveness, both of others and of yourself, ye is a powerful tool for releasing these old limiting agreements. When you forgive, you're not saying that what happened was okay. You're not condoning hurtful actions or denying your pain. Instead, you're choosing to release the hold that these past experiences have on your present and future. Forgiveness allows you to rewrite agreements like, I can't trust anyone, into more empowering beliefs like, I have the wisdom to discern who is trustworthy, and I choose to open my heart to meaningful connections. This process of forgiveness and releasing old agreements can be challenging. It might bring up strong emotions or resistance. That's okay. Remember, growth often feels uncomfortable at first. Be patient and gentle with yourself as you navigate this process. Now let's talk about the power of language in rewriting your agreements. The words you use, both in your internal dialogue and in your communication with others, have a profound impact on your beliefs and experiences. Pay attention to the language you use when you talk about yourself and your life. Do you often use words like can't, should, or have to? These words often signal limiting agreements. For example, I can't do that might really mean I believe I'm not capable. As you rewrite your agreements, consciously choose language that empowers and inspires you. Instead of I can't, try I choose to or I'm learning to. Instead of I should, use I want to or I choose to. The shift in language might seem small, but it can have a powerful effect on your mindset and actions. Another crucial aspect of rewriting your agreements is aligning your actions with your new beliefs. It's not enough to simply think or say new things about yourself. You need to live these new agreements. For instance, if you've rewritten an agreement from, I'm not creative to, I have unique creative gifts to share with the world, you need to take actions that support this new belief. This might mean setting aside time each day for creative pursuits, sharing your work with others, or taking a class to develop your skills. These actions serve two important purposes. First, they reinforce your new agreement, making it stronger and more deeply rooted in your psyche. Second, they provide evidence that supports your new belief, making it easier for you to fully embrace and embody this new agreement. Remember, your beliefs shape your actions, but your actions also shape your beliefs. By consciously aligning your behavior with your new agreements, you create a powerful feedback loop of positive change in your life. Now, I want to address something that many people struggle with when they start to rewrite their agreements. The fear of disappointing others or not meeting their expectations. Often, our limiting agreements are tied up with the expectations of family, friends, or... For example, you might have an agreement that says, I need to follow a traditional career path to be successful and make my parents proud. This agreement might be keeping you in a job you hate, preventing you from pursuing your true passions. Rewriting this agreement might mean disappointing some people in your life. It might mean facing criticism or lack of understanding from others. This can be scary, but it's also an essential part of living an authentic, fulfilling life.
Remember, you're not responsible for other people's expectations or reactions. Your primary responsibility is to honor your own truth, to live in alignment with your values and aspirations. As you rewrite your agreements to reflect this truth, you might find that some relationships change or even end, but you'll also likely attract new relationships that support and celebrate your authentic self. This process of rewriting your agreements and living your truth can be incredibly liberating. It frees you from the burden of trying to please everyone else at the expense of your own happiness and fulfillment. It allows you to show up in the world as your genuine, uncompromised self. Now let's talk about the role of gratitude in rewriting your agreements. Gratitude is a powerful force that can dramatically shift your perspective and open you up to new possibilities in life. When you cultivate an attitude of gratitude, you naturally begin to rewrite agreements that are based on lack or scarcity. For example, an agreement like there's never enough might transform into I am abundantly blessed in many ways. Practicing gratitude doesn't mean ignoring challenges or difficulties in your life. Instead, it's about choosing to focus on the good that exists alongside those challenges. It's about recognizing the lessons, growth opportunities, and blessings that are present in every situation, even the difficult ones. As you practice gratitude, you'll likely find that it becomes easier to rewrite your agreements from a place of abundance and possibility rather than lack and limitation. You'll start to see opportunities where you once saw obstacles, potential where you once saw problems. Another powerful tool for rewriting your agreements is visualization. Your mind is incredibly powerful and it doesn't always distinguish between what you vividly imagine and what you actually experience in the physical world. When you visualize yourself living in alignment with your new agreements, you're essentially giving your mind a new blueprint to work with. You're showing it what's possible, priming it to recognize and act on opportunities that align with your new beliefs. For example, if you're rewriting an agreement from I'm too shy to speak in public to I have valuable insights to share and I express them confidently, you might visualize yourself giving a successful presentation. See yourself standing tall, speaking clearly, engaging your audience. Feel the confidence flowing through you, the satisfaction of sharing your knowledge and connecting with others. The more vividly you can imagine these scenarios engaging all your senses, the more powerful the impact will be. This visualization practice helps to bridge the gap between your current reality and the new reality you're creating through your rewritten agreement. Now, I want to address a common misconception about rewriting your agreements. Some people believe that changing their fundamental beliefs means becoming a completely different person, perhaps someone they don't even recognize. This couldn't be further from the truth. Rewriting your agreements isn't about becoming someone else. It's about becoming more fully yourself. It's about shedding the limiting beliefs and false identities that have been obscuring your true nature and stepping into the fullest, most authentic expression of who you really are. Oh, think of it like this. You are like a brilliant diamond with many facets and immense potential for reflecting light. Your limiting agreements are like layers of dust that have accumulated on the surface of this diamond, dulling its brilliance. Rewriting your agreements is the process of gently, lovingly cleaning away this dust, allowing your true radiance to shine through. As you engage in this process, you might be surprised by what you discover about yourself. You might uncover talents you never knew you had, passions you'd forgotten about, or strengths that had been lying dormant. This is all part of the beautiful journey of self-discovery that comes with rewriting your agreements. Let's talk for a moment about the importance of patience and persistence in this process. Rewriting your agreements is not an overnight transformation. It's a journey, a gradual unfolding of your potential over time. There will be days when you fall back into old patterns, when your old agreements reassert themselves. This is normal and to be expected. When you find yourself slipping back into old patterns, don't berate yourself. Instead, view these moments as opportunities to recommit to your new agreements. Each time you consciously choose your new beliefs over the old ones, you're strengthening these new neural pathways in your brain 
making your new agreements more automatic and natural. Remember, progress isn't always linear. Sometimes you might feel like you're taking two steps forward and one step back. That's okay. What matters is that you keep moving forward, keep choosing your new agreements even when it's challenging. This process of growth and change is like tending a garden. You plant the seeds of your new agreements, but they need consistent care and attention to flourish. Some days, you might not see much visible growth, but beneath the surface, roots are deepening, strengthening, preparing for the moment when new growth will burst forth. Your job is to keep showing up day after day, nurturing these new beliefs with your thoughts, words, and actions. Trust in the process, even when you can't see immediate results. Your consistent efforts will bear fruit in time. Now, let's talk about the role of self-love in rewriting your agreements. Many of our limiting beliefs stem from a lack of self-love and self-acceptance. We create agreements like I'm not good enough or I don't deserve happiness because at some level we've learned to withhold love from ourselves. Rewriting these agreements requires cultivating a deep, unconditional love for yourself. This doesn't mean being arrogant or narcissistic. It means recognizing your inherent worth as a human being, separate from your achievements or failures, your looks or your social status. Self-love means treating yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would offer to a dear friend. It means forgiving yourself for past mistakes, celebrating your successes no matter how small, and believing in your potential to grow and evolve. As you cultivate self-love, you'll find it easier to rewrite agreements that honor and support your true self. You'll naturally gravitate towards beliefs that uplift and empower you rather than those that diminish or limit you. Remember, you are worthy of love and respect simply because you exist. You don't have to earn it or prove yourself. This truth is the foundation upon which all your empowering agreements can be built. Another powerful aspect of rewriting your agreements is the concept of choice. Many of us go through life feeling like victims of circumstance, believing that we have little control over our experiences. This victim mentality is reflected in agreements like life is hard or good things never happen to me. But the truth is, while we can't always control what happens to us, we always have the power to choose our response. This is where our true power lies. When you rewrite your agreements to reflect this truth, you shift from a passive to an active role in your life. An agreement like life is hard might become, I have the strength and resilience to handle whatever life brings. Good things never happen to me. Could transform into, I choose to focus on and appreciate the good in my life. This shift in perspective is incredibly empowering. It puts you in the driver's seat of your life rather than feeling like a passenger being tossed about by external forces. Of course, choosing your response doesn't mean you'll never feel negative emotions or face challenges. It means that even in difficult times, you remember that you have the power to choose how you interpret and respond to these experiences. Now, let's discuss the importance of authenticity in rewriting your agreement. Sometimes, in our eagerness to change our lives, we might be tempted to adopt beliefs or agreements that don't truly resonate with us. Maybe we've read about them in a self-help book or heard them from a motivational speaker and we think, that sounds good, I should believe that. But forcing yourself to adopt agreements that don't feel authentic to you is unlikely to lead to lasting change. In fact, it can create internal conflict and resistance, making it harder for you to truly transform your life. The key is to find agreements that genuinely resonate with your values, your experiences, and your deepest truths. This might mean taking the time to reflect on what really matters to you, what you truly believe about yourself and the world. For example, instead of trying to force yourself to believe I love public speaking when you know you're naturally introverted, you might rewrite your agreement to something like, I have valuable insights to share and I can find ways to communicate them that feel comfortable and authentic to me. Remember, the goal isn't to become someone else or to conform to someone else's idea of success or happiness. Now, the goal is to become the fullest, most authentic version of yourself. As you rewrite your agreements, pay attention to how they feel in your body. Do they create a sense of expansion, of possibility, 
or do they make you feel contracted and resistant? Trust your inner wisdom to guide you towards agreements that truly serve your highest good. Let's talk about the power of community in rewriting your agreements. While this is ultimately a personal journey, having support can make a huge difference. Surrounding yourself with people who believe in you, who support your growth, and who hold a vision of your highest potential can be incredibly powerful. These supportive relationships can help reinforce your new agreements, especially when you're struggling or doubting yourself. They can remind you of your strength and potential when you forget. They can celebrate your progress and encourage you to keep going when the path feels challenging. Consider seeking out or creating a community of like-minded individuals who are also committed to personal growth and transformation. This might be a support group, a mastermind circle, or simply a group of friends who share your values and aspirations. In these supportive environments, you can share your journey, learn from others, and gain new perspectives on your own experiences. You might even find that by supporting others in their growth, you strengthen your own new agreements and accelerate your own transformation. Now, I want to address something that many people struggle with when rewriting their agreements. The fear of success. It might sound strange. After all, isn't success what we're aiming for? But the truth is, success can be just as frightening as failure, sometimes even more so. And you start to rewrite your agreements and step into your power. You might find yourself facing unexpected fears. What if I actually achieve my dreams? What if I become successful beyond my wildest imagination? What will that mean for my life, my relationships, my identity? These fears often stem from old agreements like I don't deserve success or if I'm too successful people won't like me. They can cause you to unconsciously sabotage your efforts or hold yourself back from fully committing to your new agreements. Recognizing and addressing these fears is an important part of the process. It might involve rewriting agreements about what success means to you, about your worthiness to receive good things in life, about your ability to handle new challenges and responsibilities. Remember, growth often involves stepping out of your comfort zone. It's natural to feel some fear or discomfort as you expand into new ways of being. The key is to acknowledge these feelings without letting them hold you back. You might rewrite an agreement like success is scary and overwhelming to something like I have the, the capacity to handle success gracefully and use it as a force for good in my life and the world. As you continue on this journey of rewriting your agreements, it's important to celebrate your progress along the way. Often, we're so focused on our end goals that we forget to acknowledge how far we've come. Take time regularly to reflect on the changes you're making in your life. Notice the small shifts in your thoughts and behaviors. Celebrate the moments when you choose your new agreements over old patterns. Acknowledge the courage it takes to challenge long-held beliefs and step into new ways of being. These celebrations don't have to be grand gestures. They can be as simple as taking a moment to feel proud of yourself, sharing your progress with a supportive friend, or treating yourself to something you enjoy. Celebrating your progress serves several important purposes. It reinforces your new agreements, making them stronger and more deeply ingrained. It boosts your motivation, encouraging you to keep going even when the path is challenging. And it helps you cultivate a positive, growth-oriented mindset that supports your ongoing transfer. Remember every step forward, no matter how small it might seem, is a victory worth celebrating. You're doing the profound work of reshaping your life from the inside out. That's no small feat. Now, let's talk about the ripple effect of rewriting your agreements. When you change your fundamental beliefs about yourself and the world, you're not just transforming your own life. You're also influencing the world around you in powerful ways. As you step into a more empowered, authentic version of yourself, you naturally inspire others to do the same. Your courage in challenging old beliefs and embracing new possibilities can give others permission to do the same in their own life. Your new agreements might lead you to treat others differently, to show up in your relationships and your work in new ways. This can spark positive changes in your family dynamics, your friendships, your workplace, and your community. For example, 
If you rewrite an agreement from I have to please everyone to be loved to I am worthy of love, just as I am, you might start setting healthier boundaries in your relationships. This could inspire others around you to reflect on their own beliefs about self-worth and relationships. Or if you rewrite an agreement from my voice doesn't matter to my unique perspective is valuable and worth sharing. You might start speaking up more at work or in your community. This could lead to new ideas being implemented, positive changes being made, and others feeling empowered to share their own voices. In this way, your personal transformation becomes a catalyst for positive change in the world around you. You become a living example of what's possible when we challenge our limiting beliefs and step into our full potential. As we near the end of our time together, I want to remind you of the incredible power you hold, the power to rewrite your agreements, to reshape your beliefs, to recreate your life in alignment with your deepest truths and highest aspirations. This power has always been within you. It's not something you need to acquire or earn. It's your birthright as a conscious, creative being. All you need to do is claim it, to remember it, to start using it consciously and intentionally. Rewriting your agreements is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey of growth and evolution. It's a process of continually expanding your understanding of yourself and your place in the world, of pushing the boundaries of what you believe is possible. As you move forward from this moment, I encourage you to approach this journey with curiosity, compassion, and courage. Be curious about the agreements that are currently shaping your life. Be compassionate with yourself as you work to change long-held beliefs and, and be courageous in challenging the agreements that no longer serve you and stepping into new ways of being that aligned with your highest self. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to choose. To choose your thoughts, your beliefs, your actions. To choose who you want to be and how you want to show up in the world. In this moment, right now, you have the power to begin rewriting your agreements. To start shifting your beliefs in ways that empower and inspire you to take the first step towards creating a life that truly fulfills and excites you. What agreement will you rewrite today? What new belief will you choose to embrace? What possibility will you open yourself up to? The pen is in your hand. The story of your life is yours to write. Trust in your power, believe in your potential, and know that you have within you everything you need to create a life of joy, purpose, and profound fulfillment. You are the author of your life story. With every thought, every word, every action, you are writing the next chapter. Make it a masterpiece. Make it a story of courage, of growth, of love, of triumph over adversity. Make it a story that inspires not just you, but all who come into contact with you. Let your life be a testament to the incredible power. We all have to transform ourselves and our world through the simple yet profound act of rewriting our agreement. Thank you for your presence, your attention, and your willingness to engage in this important work. May your journey of self-discovery and personal growth be filled with joy, wonder, and beautiful surprises. And may you always remember the incredible power you hold to shape your life and your world. Go forth and rewrite your story. The world is waiting for the unique gifts only you can bring. Thank you.